Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana Anissa. If you are returning, what is up you guys? How is everyone doing today? It is a really nice Sunday. I'm so excited because we have a really like chill, laid back kind of video. I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys some new makeup that I hauled recently. So it's kind of like a collective makeup haul, but the bulk of the products that I hauled is from Ulta. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the smaller package that I have. Well, I'm filming this at night and it feels so weird. I feel like I'm so like, everything is just so dark. My curls literally have a mind of their own today. All right, so let's get into this right here. So the first thing that I got from Ulta is the Out in a Pout lip set from the Sweetest Tea Collection. You guys, this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today and it is so freaking pretty. I wasn't expecting to love this this much. I will say that the liner is not my favorite. I do wish that there was a dark liner that came in this set, like a dark brown liner because the liner itself almost looks, it's, I don't know, it's not, it's not given. It's not really given, the liner. So I just wish that it was a little bit different. So I'm happy that I got this. I wasn't expecting to like this this much. I so love this lip combo. The lipstick and the lip gloss are so pretty. I do wish that everything was sold separate because I'm like, okay, let's say I go through the lipstick or the lip gloss. I have to purchase the whole set all over again or what if I just really want the gloss? But I really love this lip combo. It is so freaking pretty. It is so pretty. So next up in here, I got this new ColourPop. This is from like their new fruit collection. The shade that I have is called Toffee Cake. It's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I honestly don't know how I feel about this shade. At first when I put it on, I was like, ooh, I need to like fix this. Cause it just looked, I don't know. It just looked like a shade. I don't know. It just looked weird, but I did fix it. And I actually like how it looks now, but when I first put it on, I was a little bit like, oh, I don't really know how I feel about this blush, but it's cute. I think it's cute. It goes with this look. I'm really feeling this look today. The next product I got is from Wet n Wild. This is also new as well. I really was into getting drugstore makeup. So this is the Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. I got the shade Fair Light. Reason why I got this shade is because I wanted to use it as like a banana powder. It's really hard to see the shade on camera. It's super light, but I kind of got it as like a powder that I can use to brighten up under my eyes. I forgot to use this today. I just went in with my Jaclyn powder today, but I will use this and update you guys on if I like it and if it does what I want it to do. But really this is supposed to be like a finishing powder, which I do think it'll work like that with the shade that I picked up. And the next two things in this little bag I got were two new ColourPop Super Shock shadows as if I needed these. I did not need any more <sighs> Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, but these are two new shades and I just felt like I had to have them. So this right here is the shade Dream Much. Okay, why is this so pretty? All right, so this is the shade Dream Much. Oh, this is so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Very, very pretty. It doesn't have much of a base to it. So I feel like this will be a really pretty topper Super Shock Shadow, but wow, that is so pretty. And then the other shade I picked up is called Deck. So I got this shade because I don't have any Super Shock Shadow like this in my collection. As many Super Shock Shadows that I have, I don't have a shade like this. And this is literally a silver, like gunmetal Super Shock Shadow. I was like, I had to have the shade. So let's swatch this. This feels really creamy too. Ooh, this would have been such a pretty look today. So that's the shade Deck. Wow, super pigmented. This would be a pretty, pretty look. I finally got my hands on the new, well, they're not really new anymore, but these are the Morphe X Aerial Brush Collections. I have not touched this. I don't think I'm gonna touch this until like I move and I get into my new like space, but I did pick up the brush set right here. 
I have seen so many people's reviews on this brush set and everybody raves about it. I was like, you know what, let me just get it. Like, <laughs> let me get it because I buy Blink brushes and I really, really like them, but it was just so hard to get this brush set from Morphe. It took me this long because these are so expensive, but I'm gonna show you guys the packaging. It's kind of hard to see on camera. You probably can't see on camera, but it does open up and it, here are all the brushes. These are so sleek. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to dive into this. I just want to like set them up and like give them their own little space. Like how I have my blinged brushes in their own little section. I want to do that with the brush set from Ariel. And then I have the eye brush set as well. I felt like I had to get the whole collection. Uh, this, I did use some points too, so I didn't really pay full price for these from Ulta, so I did use some points. But this is what the eye brush set looks like. Really excited to dive into these, especially like this concealer brush. I'm excited to dive into as well. But here are the eye brushes. So the last two things I picked up from Ulta is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I have been using this a lot recently and I honestly really do like this primer. It's so good. It is super, super intense. Like I feel like this primer doesn't give you much room to like spread it out. You have to move fast with this primer, but it really does grip, okay? The like reviews and everything that people are talking about with this primer are so true. I love how my makeup applies on top of this primer, it's really good. I will say that this, this is different than the mint melt and like the jelly, like the dew pop primer. Is it the dew pop? It's different, it really is. You guys are probably gonna be really shocked by this next product that I show you guys because in my last purchaser pass, I talked about how I wasn't gonna get anything but then I saw them in person at Ulta and I was like, I have to have this. So I did pick up one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick. So I got the matte one in the shade Toffee. I believe in my Jaclyn Cosmetics video where I rank her products, I am wearing this lipstick. When I tell you guys, it is so beautiful. And it is, it's so beautiful, but it's also one of the most comfortable matte lipsticks. Like I literally was able to kind of like the whole day and it did not, like literally, it did not, my lips were not dry at all. It's a very comfortable moisturizing matte. I don't think that I've ever experienced a more moisturizing matte lipstick ever because matte lipsticks are usually pretty dry, but that one is just so good. I even went back to Ulta today to like see if I can pick out more shades. This is the only color shade that really interests me. So I was like, okay, let me just, I'm gonna leave it alone, but it's so pretty. It's also a really gorgeous everyday lipstick shade as well. And I just was so blown away by this lipstick. So that is everything that I picked up from Ulta. Let's get into what I got from Alamar Cosmetics. You guys, I love Alamar Cosmetics. They have some of the best complexion products. So also I'm really obsessed with the movie Encanto. So I literally had to get something from their collection with, <laughs> with their Encanto collection. They did collaborate with the movie and I picked up one of the blushes and the highlighter in the collection. I am wearing the highlighter right now. It's like a really pretty golden pinky like shifting highlighter. It's like a duochrome. This is the packaging right here. Super, super pretty. It's called Flex Alert. But this is probably kind of hard to see the shift, but it does have like a pinky golden kind of shift in it. And it's so pretty. It's so, so, so pretty. And I love it. Then I did pick up the blush in Herma Rosa. Oh, can we get into this? This is so pretty. I wanted to use the blush today, but I like saw the ColourPop one and I was like, this one will go much better than this one. But you guys, I am so excited to use this blush. I have been like anxiously waiting. I was able to use the highlighter today. I love it. It's super different. I don't have anything like it in my collection. So I was just so excited. And then I also picked up one of their Des Nudes Longwear Lip Liner. They are known for their lip liners, I've heard. So I was like, you know what? I need to try this lip liner out. So I got the shade Conquera. I think I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, I, I apologize. But basically, it's just a really deep brown. Ooh, so buttery. Wow. That is 
really gorgeous. I should have used this today. Wow. That's all I got from Alamar Cosmetics. Let's get into the last place that I picked up a few things and that is Sephora, of course. So the first thing that I got was the Body Duo from Fenty Beauty. This has their body scrub and their body butter inside. You guys, I love this duo, it's so good. This is actually my second duo. I'm not done with the first duo, but this was on sale and I was like, hold on, I need to get this. So I only paid like $12 for this. It was on like super sale. So I had to pick this up. If you have not tried their body butter, if you have not tried their body butter or their body scrub, oh my God, you have to. I think when the next VIB sale comes around, I am gonna get the full size of both of these products because I really, really like it. I think my favorite is the body butter for sure. For sure, it's the body butter for me. The next thing I got, finally, the big size of the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 6.5. Now that I'm doing this video, I can remember to use this. I always forget to use this. Like if I keep it up here and if I see it, I'll use it, but it's been in that box waiting for me to film this video. So I haven't really used it much lately, but I definitely will now that I have filmed this video and I've shared this product with you guys. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I got. I also got these two lip products from Makeup by Mario. This is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I actually got these on the day that they came out. Uh, I just wanted to try them for myself. I love them. They're so good. They are really, really good. So I have two shades. The shades I picked up were Mocha Glow and Plum Glow. I picked up two shades on a whim, not knowing if I would like it or not, but I'm actually mad because there's one more shade that I want. I think it's like bronze glow and it's sold out. It's like sold out everywhere. TikTok made it viral and I'm so mad because I'm like, oh, I need that shade. I want that shade. But the formula on this just really hits different. It's kind of like a lip oil, but it gives the look of a gloss, like, but it plumps too. It's like three products in one. So let me swatch these for you guys. So this one right here is Mocha Glow. They're pretty sheer for the most part. So that's Mocha Glow right there. And then we have Plum Glow. This one is not that sheer. I think this one is the most pigmented one where you can really see the color. But yeah, so that's Mocha Glow and Plum Glow. But I love them both. I feel like Plum Glow is not a shade that I could use every day. Mocha Glow and the shade Bronze Glow that is sold out on Sephora are like the two shades I would wear every single day. These are sold out. I think there's only like one shade in stock on Sephora, but I really would get this and try them out because they're so good. They're so, so, so good and I really like them. And the packaging is super sleek. You can also easily tell what shade you're picking up because of how it looks on the outside packaging. But I will say these do have like a twist, like applicator type of thing. It makes the product come out, but if you take out too much product, you cannot put it back down. That's the only con with this lip product. The next product I got from Sephora is also a lip product. It is from the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes line. And I got the shade Super Fabulous. I don't know why I thought this was new. I think it is a new shade. So this is the shade. I really wanted another nude lip shade. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. It is a really gorgeous nude. I love, love, love that. Charlotte Tilbury has some of the best lipsticks on the market, like hands down, some of the literal best. That is everything I picked up from Sephora. The last product that I've hauled recently is from Walmart <laughs> and I haven't used it yet, but it's the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Hydrogel Moisturizer. I wanna try this. I really needed a new moisturizer, so I really heard good things about e.l.f.'s Holy Hydration, but I looked at that and I looked at this one. They literally have the exact same ingredients. So I went for this one because it was in a pump and I feel like that's more, I like things that are in pumps. I don't really like to dig my fingers in things and like apply it to my face. That's just a me thing. I'm just not the biggest fan of those kind of products. So I got this one and yeah, I'm excited to try this. Almost forgot 
literally almost forgot one more product. This last thing I got from Ulta, which it was up here, I used it today, so that's why I forgot about this. This is on sale from Urban Decay. It's their Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I have two shades. I have 60 NN and 70 NY. One is like a more like more neutral shade to go with my skin tone, but it brightens slightly, and the other one is super, super brightening. So I love this concealer. Like, what the heck? This is such a beautiful concealer. It is $14.50 right now on Ulta's site. I kind of want to buy some more because this is literally such a beautiful, beautiful concealer. I know it's not new, but still, it's so good. Like, it is so good. I'm shocked. I'm really, really shocked by this concealer. So yeah, I just got this recently from Ulta and I have fallen in love with it. It is so good. It does not crease on me. It makes my under eyes look so smooth. And for my past couple of videos, this is the concealer I have had on. Has not disappointed me at all. <laughs> but that is everything that I've hauled recently. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.